Hello! In this video, we will be going over how to solve polynomials in the most basic way. In order for this to work, we must have our second degree polynomial set to zero in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. In order to solve it this way, we will be factoring, and the quickest way to factor is to figure out what two numbers add up to our b value and multiply out to our c value. I can tell you that these two numbers, for this case, are 3 and 5. So we will have x plus 3 and x plus 5. And we'll set that equal to 0. Now this might seem arbitrary, but you can see that you have x plus 3 and x plus 5. So we have something that we can FOIL back out. And if we FOIL that back out, let's do this on the side real quick. We have x squared plus 3x plus 5x plus 15. Sorry, I mixed my outer and my inner there. And we can sum these two like terms together to x squared plus 8x plus 15 which is what we started with, right? Well, set equal to zero. Now we can use what's called the zero product principle. It simply states that any number times zero equals zero. And we know that, right? Zero times one, zero. Zero times 50, zero. Zero times 125,327,892, still zero. So, instead of taking just a number as a value, we can recognize that x plus 3 and x plus 5 are each their independent values here. And if we multiplied either of them by 0, we would get 0. So we can set both of them equal to 0 and solve to find our two values for 0. In this case, we would subtract 3 from both sides and get x equals negative 3. And in this case, we would subtract 5 from both sides and get x equals negative 5. Now we can prove this, and we can prove that these two numbers are our solutions by plugging them back into our original equation and solving. So if we have x squared, we have negative 3, let's go with negative 3 first, squared plus 8 times negative 3 plus 15 equals 0. That's going to be negative 3 squared, which is 9, plus 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. So we're actually subtracting our 24 here and bring down our 15. So if we take our positive terms, 9 and 15, and add them together, we get 24. So isn't 24 minus 24 is 0? This one checks out. We can do the same thing with the negative 5. Negative 5 squared plus 8 times negative 5 plus 15 equals 0. Negative 5 squared is 25. 8 times negative 5 is negative 40, so we're going to this time just bring it straight to minus 40 plus 15 equals 0. And again, we'll take our positive terms, 25 and 15, add them together, which equals 40. Then we'll subtract our negative value, which is negative 40. 40 minus 40 equals 0. This checks out. So there you have it. In this video, I went over how to solve a polynomial by using simple factoring. I showed how to do it because we're going to have we're going to find two values that add up to our b and multiply out to our c. I showed that. Doing so works by foiling it back out to our original, showing that nothing has changed, only the structure of our equation. I then solved it in order to get our two values, and then I proved that those two values were correct by plugging them into the original equation and solving, and finding that they do in fact equal zero at the end. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below and I will respond to them as soon as possible.